everybody, I'm Denise Salcedo and tonight we're at the 2014 IGO Awards at Universal Studio Hollywood and today is going to be a great night. We're going to be interviewing Slash, John Landis, Robert Rodriguez and so many more so stay tuned. How do you feel about being here tonight at the IGO Awards? Oh my god, uh, there's a lot of things going through my mind. I'm trying to express them in one emotion but I don't have one. It's many emotions. What do you feel about the Walking Dead maze here? Uh, I'm excited. Last year it scared the crap out of me and I didn't think, I thought I was going to be too cool for it. It scared the crap out of me. Now for your show, The Talking Dead, you have had a lot of notable guests on your show. Which have been some of your favorite guests that you've had? Any crazy stories? Um, well, let's see. Uh, I've had Nicole Brown's always a great guest. CM Punk is a great guest. Uh, Marilyn Manson was a guest that was on the show. Uh, let's see. <laughs> you know, it's I don't know. It's fun. It's, it's just it's basically just sitting around with your friends and talking about a show that you would talk about anyway if there were no cameras. So I don't know. It's weird that I actually get paid to do it. Great. And um, what are you looking most forward to for the next season of The Walking Dead? Well, I haven't seen anything yet, but they say you know last season started off pretty like they wanted you to they wanted you to feel like everyone all the survivors had kind of softened up a little bit had started to plant some roots. Rick was literally planting roots because he became a farmer. Um, but apparently this season starts off super, super crazy. So it's just fun. The thing that I get excited about is watching how they raise the bar every year. Like, I, you know, just seeing what all the different zombie kills are. And I don't know. It's, it's, I'm excited. And because they're my friends, too. I just get excited to see what they did all, all year long. Great. Thank you so much. How do you feel about having the face-off maze here tonight at Universal? I'm so honored that, that we have this here tonight. It's amazing. It's, it's such a huge honor and it's funny because I was just saying that I don't know I don't think many people know this but it kind of came about because a fan had tweeted why isn't there a face off maze a while back and John Murdy and I reached out to each other he actually reached out to me and said yeah why isn't there and we started to talk about it and here we are all because of Twitter and a fan what is your favorite thing about the Igor Awards everything <laughs> I love everything I mean from the whole venue and it's a new venue this year so we have a new setup in there which is cool um, but just getting to meet some of my idols from the horror genre I mean like Danny Trejo it's like Come on, this is so cool. Robert Rodriguez, it's like unbelievable people tonight. You know, and there always is Slash. There's gonna be so many cool people here. So it's just fun. Yeah. Great. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so you're currently working on All Hail the Squash Boss Blossom Queen. Mm -hmm. um, can you tell me a little bit about that? Well, that is a little surprise that I have, so I don't want to talk about that much. I do definitely can talk about second season from Dust Till Dawn, which I'm very excited. Um, we're going back to Austin, Texas to shoot the second season with Robert Rodriguez. Um, very excited about that. Very excited about having our haunted house this year at uh, Halloween Horror Nights, it's a, a dream come true. Come, I come from Mexico yeah. City. I never expected to be able to have something like this in my life. So I really, I really enjoy it and embrace it. What is it like working with Robert Rodriguez? Oh my God, Robert's just brilliant. He's an amazing person. He's uh, such a gentleman and a great director. So when you're able to work with someone like him and 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 at the same time enjoy what you're doing and you learn so much about him. He's such a creative mind and, and he has so, so much going on in his head. Then when you're around him, you're just in awe, you know, you're trying to like get a little bit of what he has and that energy and it's very inspiring and makes me want to go to work every single day and, and with a happy with a happy energy and a smile in my face. And um, how important do you think it is to have Mexican women and his Hispanic women of all kinds on represented on television? Oh my God, for me it's very important. You see women like Sofia Vergara, you see Salma Hayek, Penelope Cruz, all Latin women. And me being Latin, obviously, I embrace my culture a lot. I'm very proud of where I come from and who I am. And I feel there's so much talent over in, in Mexico, Spain, Argentina, all over the world in, in, in Spanish speaking. And well, actually, everywhere but I feel very connected with my own culture so I really enjoy it I love love being able to work with people like Robert who truly believes in new talents and gives us a chance to come and prove the people what we have all right well thank you so much thank you thank you Bye. Oh, thank you we're right here with Muse first of all I am so excited having you here tonight cool hat cool shoes, cool everything. You are probably one of the coolest persons here. Um, so how do you feel, <laughs> that, that's, that's super awesome, how do you feel being here tonight and seeing Robert Rodriguez receive an Igor Award? You know what, I am so honored. I, I was here, I received an award last year and this award, the Igor Award is like 
like the hard of the Oscars. You know what I mean? It's like you win an Oscar for like, uh, you know, you you win an Oscar for like making people. Oh, the beauty, oh my God. You know, you win an Igor for stuff, <laughs> for making people scream, you know, and, and giving them bad dreams at night. And that's what I love. I love, it's like the man award right here. Right. You know? Is there any specific mazes that you're looking forward to going through tonight? From dusk to dawn. <laughs> Razor Charlie, hello. This bar is for bikers and truckers only. I hear that in every club I go to. <laughs> Do you have any plans for Halloween coming up? You know, we always, like, the family always dresses up and we just, like, hand out candy and everybody knows where I live so you know, they all we just take pictures all night you know what I mean it's a lot of fun well thank you so much <laughs>